common problem that occurs from doing pull-ups in the long run, especially for men over 30, is elbow pain. Having also experienced this in my early 30s and having tried all kinds of advice I got from health specialists, YouTube videos, and hours of studying articles online, I found that nothing really worked until I realized that the answer to this problem for most people, including me, was a lot more simple than I thought. You just need to do a more targeted warm-up. Now, I know that this probably sounds too simple to be true and it would sound the same to me if I hadn't tried it yet, but all you have to do to get started is just try two simple warm-up drills before your next pull-up set and watch your elbow pain improve dramatically from the very first day. Plus, you might even see your performance increase by getting a few more reps. Start with one set of resistance band tricep extensions. To do these, just like a regular tricep extension, just anchor a band on your pull-up bar or gymnastic rings wherever you do your pull-ups, keep your elbow steady, and extend your arm while contracting your tricep. We want low intensity and high reps here in order to get as much blood flow as possible to the elbow area. So use a band that allows you to do 20 to 25 reps with perfect form at about 50 to 60% of your max capacity. Next, use a pull-up assistance band that allows you to do at least two sets of 10 to 12 reps with ease. I like to call these easy sets and the level of difficulty here should be around 50% of your max reps. As simple as it sounds, that's pretty much it. So after that, try doing regular pull-ups and notice how much better your elbows feel. By the way, for those who don't have an assistance band, you can also do incline bodyweight elbow extensions and negative pull-ups instead, which are better than nothing, but I still highly recommend investing in a set of bands for optimum results. So in summary, next time before you work out, make sure that you first of all start with a general warm-up. In case you don't have one and you're looking for a proper whole body calisthenics warm-up routine, check out the description and the top comment below. Next, move on to 20 to 25 band tricep extensions. And lastly, go for two easy pull-up sets of 10 to 12 reps with a pull-up assistance band that allows you 50 to 60% of your max effort, again with 30 to 60 seconds of rest in between each of these two sets. Take about two to three minutes of rest after you're done with your warm-up and you're ready to get started with your regular pull-ups again. Finally, one last tip, something I wish that I heard in the beginning of my calisthenics journey, something I wish that I understood better when I was younger, is to learn to load your joints progressively, especially with whole body weight exercises such as pull-ups and dips. You know, simply because we're doing calisthenics, we're not lifting heavy weights, it doesn't mean that you don't need a warm-up. A simple example I use here is, imagine if you were doing a lat pull-down at the gym, which is the equivalent exercise of doing pull-ups using a machine and weights. You know, you wouldn't start your workout by lifting 190 or 200 pounds, right? So why do the same with pull-ups? No matter how strong you are, no matter how many reps you can do, it's essential to learn to take things slow if you want to play the long game if you want to do pull-ups and dips and other bodyweight exercises well into your 50s, 60s, 70s, and who knows, maybe your 80s and 90s. So that was all for today. If you have more severe elbow pain, uh, you know, you probably have chronically inflamed uh, elbows, you know, and you have damage that happened uh, over the course of months or even years, of course, keep in mind that this is not something that will be solved by two or three simple warm-up drills. In that case, you'll need a more targeted approach. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll make a part two of today's video. If you're interested in personal coaching with me, let me know, send me a message. I'll include details below. And now next time, 
keep on training.